Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we have another Mice Chat aerial update of Toontown, which is awesome. Unfortunately, this is the only way we can get Toontown updates because there's too many trees and it's behind a wall, so I can't really go to the park and get some. But it's awesome that Mice Chat has their secret spy in the sky, as they call it, their helicopter man or woman, who goes around and get these gets these photos for them. So here we go, starting on the left side of Toontown. A lot of the same stuff we saw last time, just a little big giant dirt pit. Probably, you know, digging up utilities, replacing utilities, and you can see the fountain is completely gone. But Roger Rabbit is still there, that the ride is not being touched. But you can see in the center of the photo, center bottom, the El Capitan facade is just about done. And there's a closer image of that, which is looks fantastic. I cannot wait, one, to see the new Toontown, but also to ride... Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I've been super excited for that, and it's already next year, which is just a few months away, so I'm very excited for that. Here's a closer look at the previous area where the fountain was. It is empty now, of course. This will become more park space, and maybe some stroller parking as it has been in the past. Roger Rabbit looking great down there, show building, just chilling. I'm sure it's getting some nice facade work. I can't wait to see what that the facades of the Roger Rabbit show building looks like um, if we look more modern or if we still look that Toontown-esque style uh, of the Hufane Roger Rabbit style from like 19, was that 1988, 1998. And here's an aerial photo. Look how close the Fantasy Fan Land Theater is just separated by a berm of trees. Hopefully that's next to go or an I don't know, Disneyland should get an indoor theater. Fantasyland Theater is a prime spot for Fantasyland expansion. But besides the point, here's the area point of Ariel of Toontown. Again, all of it's a dirt pit. There's not one spot of concrete. There's that little black box. That's where the, uh, the Mickey fountain used to be by Mickey's house. And that is just a black box. Um... Looks like it's an aerial area of scaffolding, too. There's Gadget's Go Coaster, which we'll get a zoomed-in picture of eventually, and that one really has a lot of scaffolding. I wonder what the new theme will be. Hopefully, maybe Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers out. I feel like that would fit perfectly with that Fab Five vibe going all over in the neighborhood areas. Moving on to this next picture. This is over in the town, just to the right of the old right on this picture, but if you're in Toontown, it's to the left of the El Capitoon Theater. There are the quick service restaurants with the Pluto's Dog House, something like that, Pluto's Dogs, and Clarabelle's Ice Cream. Um, they're still there, but I'm sure they'll have different names by the time it reopens, and maybe they won't. Um, but yeah, uh, it'd be nice to have some those options, those quick service options back next year when Toontown reopens. Here's that perfect shot of the El Capitoon facade, the back side of it, and there's still some scaffolding you see on the little spire they got going on there. The back side looks good, it's all painted white, ready to go, cannot wait to see again the front. You can see there's scaffolding also on still the marquee area, so it's not completely done yet, but it looks like they're working on all these elements first, and of course going to do the pavement in the park last, or the, which I'm sure won't be real grass, but um, Either maybe ash show turf or you know, just a painted concrete sidewalk, asphalt, green. But either way, I can't wait to see Toontown become more green. It's going to be fantastic. And here's my most, the in, most interesting part to me of this whole update. Because Chip and Tail Tree House is gone, completely demolished. Wonder People are still wondering, are they going to build the tunnel to... Galaxy's Edge, ah, there's a lot of backspace, backstage buildings in between, so I'm not sure. That would be really cool, though. They can make a full circuit instead of, you know, dead end and going backtracking. That would be really cool to help alleviate the crowds. And, again, go right there in that in that tunnel, right in the mountain over there. But Gadget's Go Coaster is completely under scaffolding. All the theming is stripped away, um, so it's getting a lot of love, which is fantastic. Hopefully, I'm sure it's getting a repaint. Looks like it's still going to be red, but hopefully it'll be a brighter red. And maybe, hopefully, even some new... Well, it would have to be new trains, right? Because they're re-theming it. So, I wonder what the new trains will look like. Hopefully, they are, they are new trains. Because, I mean, they are re-theming it. So, you would have to, I think, put new trains in there. 
here's a close look into that neighborhood again there's mickey's house minnie's house all under scaffolding the roofs of what's that mickey's house to the left looks fantastic um nice and shiny the new mountains well those are the old 3d mountains but they're getting some love as well i mean but look look again to the top left of the picture gadgets go coaster the stations under complete scaffolding the Every inch of the track, every inch of the track, and that's how you can tell it's getting a repaint, because every inch of the track is under scaffolding. Every inch, that's insane. And since it's such a small coaster, they don't need, no, not like when they're repainting Tatsu, where they need cranes and they'd be hanging on wires. This is so small, they can just, again, build scaffolding and just kind of walk on, walk to the coaster and just paint it. Much safer and much easier to do and much more cost effective, because you don't have to pay for all that equipment to do so i'm just very excited to see what the gadgets go coast will be rethemed to let me know in the comments below what you think it will be you can see the lagoon has been filled in front of donald's boat and donald's house or sorry goofy's house is um untouched um but still looks good still looks fantastic that will probably be touched later when they finish that it seems like they're going like in segments maybe they're just starting off with the neighborhood's area of the land first and El Cabatoon, and they're gonna move closer to the front of the land. There is that trap that was holding the fountain before, and it's still there. It's just chilling. But the trolley tracks and trolley station, well, they've been gone, but it's still crazy to just not see any more trolley tracks over there. Hopefully, we get something to have some kinetic movement in the land. I'm sure the park, though, there'll be a lot of kids going climbing up the trees and that log area. Be like it's basically like an outdoor playground so that provides kinetic kinetic energy but also the fountain there will be kinetic kinetic fountain there as well another look at goofy's house looking fantastic a lot of dirt around again this is going to open in 2023 this is next year and yeah th that seems i'd say probably march well i'd hope march april may that time frame with Mickey Minnie's runaway, runaway Railway. I'm sure the indoor progress, interior progress on that's looking fantastic. The exterior is looking fine. Uh, Toontown itself is looking great. What do you guys think of this update? I mean, they're moving along, moving along. Um, they still got some some stuff to do, but they um they're moving quite quite quickly, and they'll definitely make their 2023 time frame. Hopefully I have a soft opening. Hopefully it's going to be like, hopefully this and Nintendo World have a nice soft opening uh, where the ride may not be open, but you can kind of enjoy the land itself because, I mean, I, I can't wait to just chill in the new Toontown and enjoy what they have to offer. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Like this video. Press, or press the thumbs up if you like this video. Check out the Theme Park Wizard merch shelf for some cool mugs, t-shirts, and more down below just on the bottom of this video. And as always, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye, everybody.